Hi everybody, welcome to round three of Chumbaka in School Today Championship. My name is Ben Will, I'll be your chair. Um, I know by the Prime Minister is going to be. Here we go. Are you okay with being live Okay. Today on site government, assuming the technology exists, we would then want to implant chips that would remove all sense of guilt, remorse, and empathy in soldiers who are in the course of duty itself. Now, firstly, what this motion means is that if the technology to do, to do so actually is present in, um, currently, we would then want to implant chips that would remove um, feelings such as guilt, remorse, which is something like personal regret, and empathy where you feel towards others in soldiers who are in the course of duty, who are in battle, for example. Now, we on site government see that a duty of a soldier is to protect their country, to get a job done. Now, we see that in jobs and duties of soldiers, there would certainly be things like death. There would certainly be things like blood. And we see that many lives would be lost in wars and in the course of duty of soldiers. And we see that we do not want to disrupt such things when such um, such risks are so high. Say you're defending your country. And if there is any sort of disruption, we see that this could lose the pro productivity of the army. Now, with these soldiers feeling guilt, remorse, and empathy, this would only affect their battles on the performance. Now, what do we mean by this? For guilt, we see that when a soldier has to kill someone, he would feel guilty on how he has to live through the guilt on how he has killed someone throughout his life. Remorse. Remorse is something like a personal regret that he, he or she could feel after not being able to save either um, one of their best friend's life in a war or maybe their sibling or maybe anything which could make them feel remorse, a personal regret towards something. And empathy. For example, when a soldier acknowledges a teammate or um, their opponent has died, but they have like a family at home, someone who cares for them, but either way, they still die. And the soldier itself, himself, has a family. He would know how it feels to, um, to have someone in your family taken away from you. And therefore, he would feel empathy and sadness towards that person. And he would also feel sadness towards his teammates as well. Now, based on war, we see that war is a do or die situation. Either your country comes out victorious in the end of the day, or whether you get defeated and your country gets conquered. We see the risk taken by these soldiers here is too high to be disrupted and um, by, for these soldiers getting their emotions, um, getting the better of them. And we see that this can, with this chip implemented in these soldiers, it can actually help these soldiers control their emotions rather than letting it all go on the battlefield where lives would be lost. And we see that instead of letting their emotions all go, um, we see that it's better if these soldiers get to control their emotions so that the productivity on the battlefield is not lost and would not disrupt the war or battle in any way. Now we see that we can't risk the fact of soldiers being too sensitive on the war field. Yes, it is hard to let go of someone dying. It is hard to see someone being murdered on the hands of your own. But it is a do or die situation. Like I mentioned earlier, the risk is too high as the country is at stake. Your country could be defeated and conquered and taken over by other people. And we see that as a soldier, your responsibility is to stop this from happening. And with the emotions getting better of you, there is clearly no way that this could um, eventually succeed. Now, before I continue, are there any POIs from the opposition bench? Nothing so far? All right. Now, next, we see that, let's just say inside opposition's world, where they do not implant, um, implant these chips into these soldiers who are on course in duty. We see that when you are a soldier in war, and let's say your best friend or sibling um, dies and gets shot, how would you feel if you didn't have this chip implemented in you and you felt guilt, remorse, empathy, and your sergeant kept on saying, go on, would you stop for that friend or would you keep on going? Now, many people would then stop because this is how we humans feel. However, that would get the, uh, our emotions would get the better of us and we would, that would just disrupt the battle in a way. And like I mentioned earlier, it, every man counts. And we see that this is too much of a risk, like I mentioned earlier, like, we are literally defending and protecting the country. If we do let our emotions get the better of us, we would then not be as productive on the battlefield. We would then not 
do exactly what we're supposed to do without feeling any emotions that really get the better of us. So we see that with this chip implanted in ourselves, the soldiers, on course of duty, we see that this could actually benefit not just them of their emotions getting over, um, getting the better of them, but the country as a whole. You see that the stakeholders here are not just these soldiers themselves, but their family, the whole country. And we see that this could really have a big effect if there is no chip implanted in these soldiers. Now we see that um, currently in status quo, soldiers feel, a lot of soldiers feel guilt after war, even though they survive, they feel empathy, they feel sadness towards those who have passed away. That is natural for human to feel. However, if you were the, the side that got defeated, and if you were, and if you felt those feelings, that could actually slow your process of winning down. Who knows? Maybe you could have still stood a chance on winning. But since you felt those emotions and it got the better of you, you would then just have lost a chance for your country and le led it to becoming defeated and conquered. And before I continue, um, yes, ma'am. Uh, you mentioned that. Um they will have these emotions after they're done with uh, killing or injuring someone else. Yes, but so is this um, gadget supposed to remove their feelings forever or is it temporary? No, so these gadgets remove the feeling of guilt, remorse and empathy for the soldiers who are only on course uh, in course of duty. We see that the soldiers in course of duty only get these um, three specific feelings and sense removed of them. As, like I mentioned earlier, with the feeling, with the emotions and feelings getting the better of them, this would of course not be productive and good for the country. So like I said, so these, these, um, this chip actually helps benefit not just the soldiers, but the whole country, like I mentioned. So, so far, what I've brought to you in my speech is the fact on how this can actually benefit the country as a whole. As what we from side uh, government want from this debate is that we don't want soldiers emotions to get the better of them. We want what's best for the country and what's best um, for them as well. And we see that by holding the country back, by holding your army back, just because you get let the emotions get the better of you, we see that this is not a risk that we want to take, especially when the risk is so high with a country at stake, when you are defending for your country at war. And we see that that is why we on site government, we want to implant a chip that will remove these sense of guilt, remorse, and empathy in soldiers that are in the course of duty. And that is why I have never been proud of to propose. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prime Minister, for your speech. I'm going to invite the leader of opposition. Here, here.
So today's another debate. Today's debate. Both sides are fighting whether should we or should we not now implant chips that will remove certain emotions such as guilt, remorse, or empathy from soldiers. Today, from all we heard from side opposition was that um, what if they regret after? What um what if you um the friend can be saved but you walked away because you don't have this emotion? Or what if you're hurting your own team? But we're here to tell you that this chip chips. Um, as we've already peeled item, does not take away your logic or common sense. When you're in a line of duty, you know who are your friends and who are your enemies. And you should be able to defer that. So we don't feel that. And in any way, soldiers would just suddenly turn against their back and go against these people as it isn't common sense to not go against your own team. It isn't common sense to not fight against your own sides. And all we've heard from them was that what if, um, what if this will happen? What if that will happen? What if... And they told us that if your friend can be saved, but you walked away because you don't have these type of emotions. But let's give it to an example like this. You're in war with um, a friend on your side, many friends. And what happens is the last man standing. You choose between, and your friend is hurt. You have to choose between, do you want to save the nation or do you want to save your friend? One life, would you rather save one life and kill 10 million? Ten thousands, or just, or would you save ten thousands and kill one life? Yes, we understand. Your friend is important to you. Your friend is was always there for you. Has been there for you whenever you need. But would you now kill so many people just for one person? Kill an entire nation? I'll get one later. Kill an entire nation just because you um just because you can't feel any feelings. And like my first speaker, I already told you, we took away these feelings. And we're, we're implanting chips that will take away these feelings because first, it makes soldiers more productive. What do we mean by this? There's no emotion that's going to hold you back now. Because like my first speaker has already evaluated and on and on, is that what happens when you kill somebody? You have this guilt. Oh, sh I'm, I'm, I'm placed in a situation where I can't, um, I'm, I'm in a situation where I just murdered somebody and I need, I need to hold back. And I, I feel that I'm in the wrong place. The feeling of this shouldn't be placed on soldiers. And we feel if a soldier wants to be more productive into saving our nations, we should take away these, these emotions. It isn't human nature to feel all these emotions. And we understand that. As a soldier, you are here to serve our nations. You are here by choice. We don't force you to become soldiers. And you and we feel that if they regret, they can easily just leave the um leave after uh, after the time period of their working or etc. And it's that, and we, we feel that you as a soldier, as because your main priority today is to save our nation, not to save your friends, not to save your fam, um, not to save your friend in a um, flick of war where you have to choose between your nation and your friends. We feel um, we feel that um, at the end of the day, the purpose of a soldier is to get a job done. And this job will not be done when they have these feelings that's going to pull them back from the work that they're supposed to do, pull them back from what they're supposed to perform for our nation. And we feel that if soldiers are prepared for the cost of duty, then these chips will help. What do we mean by these? Um, is that these chips will make the feeling so that they won't feel this thing. And we feel that we are obliged, um, we feel obliged to do this because in a, you are working for our nation and we don't want you to feel like you feel guilty or, guilty or remorse just because you're serving our country, just because you're doing something good. We do not want you to feel that because we feel that you're doing something great for our nation and our country, and we feel grateful for that. That's why we're using these chips to make to make you not feel that because you've actually been doing you're actually doing something great for our nation. But that might not have come from pers um, person perspective. And um, what are the problems with status quo today? Many soldiers in the course of duty because of emotions, it affect, uh, it affects them emotionally and in the course of duty. When when you're when you're um when you have to choose between your friend or in the nation, it is a hard choice because when you when you're faced between a situation where should you go to um should you now save somebody who's been with you for maybe ten years as a friend or should you save the nation which has so many lives? Would you? Yeah, fine. Okay. Our example wasn't exactly of a friend; it was of a fellow soldier. We understand that if it's a friend, yes, you don't exactly supposed to save them. But what if that fellow soldier could be saved while the whole nation, you can win for your nation. But that one person is injured, why wouldn't you save them? Ma'am, but today's debate, yes, we are taking away the sense of guilt, remorse, and empathy. Yes. And if there's a way, um, we feel that these soldiers would know if they want if they're able to save both, they will. It doesn't mean that if you take away these emotions that they won't feel anything completely. They'll still they'll still feel something. <laughs> 
<laughs> they'll still feel something they aren't emotional emotional emotionless in a way they they um it doesn't mean that if we take away these emotions they won't know what's right to do as a person's mindset they know what to do what's right and what's wrong and if if they're able to be choosing between if you can save a friend and save the nation at the same time we don't see why there's a point where they won't uh, and what is the problems of emotions what are okay it disrupts your work in a way and it disrupts everyone in um in um society as my first speaker i've already told you the stakeholders in this situation are the soldiers and the whole nation basically everyone in society let's say just because a one soldier couldn't contain his feelings and wanted to save his friend um that's our example and he wanted to save his friend he's going to cause the whole nation to die in a way because he couldn't control his emotions we do not want that to happen as we feel that people shouldn't um as if we take away these um if we take away these feelings people will be able to do something well for the nation and hope um and it will it will create them a benefit in the future so what a site government brought to you today is that we in the end of the day the purpose of a soldier is to get a job done to not feel guilty or remorse after doing something that's actually going to serve well for your society or serve well for your nation it's for soldiers to feel more productive to be more productive because now nothing's holding them back yes we understand that um we understand that people um we understand that certain um um people won't um actually um support this but it's your choice if you join the army you should know what's been prepared for you and this is what we we, we are putting in plan that we are going to implant chips into you and that's why um we feel that emotions sometimes hold people back into doing the right thing it makes them um it makes them choose the wrong choice and we feel that we should not let that happen because by by um by one person um you're not only um um affecting yourself but the whole nation in society and we do not want that to happen so with that i'll be proud to open thank you so much Deputy Prime Minister, and I the Deputy Prime Minister has mentioned that um in case that you do not have this chip and you have to choose between your friend or the nation you would go for the friend but in fact right now no one is having the chip and that problem isn't occurring. So if those feelings are removed, what um, the leader of opposition has said was that if these feelings are removed, we wouldn't have the feeling to empathize and save a fellow soldier in need while both uh, parties could be saved. I mean, if you're going to be able to win the nation, uh, win for the nation and save a friend, uh, save a fellow soldier, you would definitely pick save a fellow soldier. But in the case that you do not have the feeling of empathy, or the feeling of guilt, you wouldn't feel the need to do that. And you would rather just make yourself feel comfortable and walk away. And that is the definition of um, the feelings which empathy and guilt present to you. Therefore, um, it, you will actually not have the feeling of saving um, and taking the opportunity of saving both parties and helping both parties when you can, if you have this chip. And now I want you to close your eyes for a moment. Imagine being stranded on the dry lines of war. You and your fellow soldiers um, are all fighting against a different nation and you're all eager to be for your country. Now, what if you do not have any emotions which will keep you from uh, fighting your own friends, fighting your own fellow soldiers? Now, if you do not have the emotion of empathy, yes, you will have simple logic. But then if you cannot empathize with them and feel what they're feeling and know that they're on your side, know that they are here for you, you would also feel the need to attack them in case they say something off guard. Like if they say something which might offend you by any chance, you will feel the need to attack them back because you do not understand that they are on your side and that will totally distract you and disrupt the mission. And we do not want that and that is what's happening right now. That is um, the case right now is that the soldiers are um, working together, taking each other to safety, uh, providing good health issues, uh, making sure the health issues are resolved. But if those chips are there, um, that same condition will not be there. Okay, now also, imagine after the war is finished, imagine after your duty is done, what would prevent you from going out of control and not wanting the chip out? Now you have, feel no, you have no feeling of guilt or empathy, so, and, or, and remorse. So why exactly would you want to go back to a state where you feel bad for people, you feel good for people, you feel emotions which you don't want to feel. 
even as of right now, we all sometimes feel like we don't want these emotions, but um, we have the right to them. Now, if we regret taking away our emotions a day later, we wouldn't even want to take it back. You know, it might affect your life in a negative way, and it most certainly will. And you wouldn't have the option to take it back anymore because it's far too late. After returning home to your families, even though the families aren't a big deal when your duty comes first, um, how would you explain to them? How would you tell them that you have risked everything uh, just to have no feelings, even though the uh, past generations have done this without removing uh, all their emotions? Now, uh, the opposition is here to say that we do not want to, um, to have these chips because right now um, there's no problem with the community we have worked on. And if we have those chips, things which are out of um, human morals and things which are inhumane will happen. This isn't how a human body or a soldier's body was trained. And before you become a soldier, you will be trained. Therefore, you will be trained to not um, go for the wrong thing. You will be trained to like not um, just um, choose a friend, um, choose a friend or choose, um, choose a friend over your nation. Yes, you will have the feelings of your brother or your sister being shot. You will know they have a family back home. But how about you? If you don't have any feelings, you wouldn't feel like you have the obligation to return. You wouldn't feel like it matters to save your country. Now, what makes you think that they would even feel entitled? Now, you're telling me that even if, even if in the case that they have a lot of training before they go into war, what if something goes wrong? Because this hasn't been experimented before. There will be experimented subjects, and if those experimented subjects go out of hand, that will also cause chaos. Now, instead of uh, changing the uh, human uh, rights and the human values, uh, we should just stick to what is as of right, uh, what we have as of right now. Um, the opposition also mentioned um, that you shouldn't be helping a fellow friend if you feel um, like. If you feel uh, the need to like leave a fellow friend, you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't do so. And you should have the chip, which will help you uh, make the right choice. But in fact, even without the chip, you will have the moral to um, help your country. You will have the moral to um, stand up for what is right. Now, as of right now, we do have that. But the reason we're saying that you might not have that afterwards is because this is a new experiment. And after you do so, after you put on the chip. You don't know what is about to happen. So therefore, um, we think that there might be guilt and there might be a, um, a lot of feeling of lack of remorse. And even so, they can handle it right now. They can handle it as, as it is right now. Even though it is hard, but they will be scarred in the process. And that is something which is inevitable. But being scarred, um, will also being scarred will also happen if you're on in uh, using the gadget well you will be scarred afterwards for leaving a fellow friend you will be scarred for for um not standing up for what's right and you will understand those emotions they will come back to you after you've removed the gadget so why do something which might affect you later on and make you feel like you have done something which is uh, unforgivable and unhumane Thank you. Thank you so much, Deputy Leader of Opposition, and I invite Dr. Lee. In my speech, I will be um, I will I'm going to include my rebuttals and how our and how all our uh, how all our uh, how all of opposition's main points are taken down by our points and why our best case scenario is better than their worst case scenario. And I would like to first um, say that all side government has heard from side opposition is that um, if you take away these emotions, you will. Um, you might attack your teammates. It might harm you for after. It might harm you after um, your course of duty is done, and the and the side effects and the disadvantages of putting the ship in. And I would like to uh, clarify that we, uh, the motion is assuming the technology exists. This house would implant ships that would remove all sense of guilt, remorse, and empathy in soldiers who 
are in the course of duty and because th this is the motion you have to follow uh, the course of it so in my first rebuttal i would i want to say that um uh, for my first rebuttal side opposition said that um for for uh, if in the, the it, because you will um will not have these emotions anymore as a soldier because of this trip you um you might just leave your teammates behind because and that is immoral and that you are leaving him to die basically but this is not the example we use the example we use was in the course of um the mission that is in progress the in the mission that the soldier is taking part in um if he's he if your that the fellow soldier in your example if the fellow soldier was left behind and you could save him um then obviously you don't need the sense of empathy you don't need the sense of remorse to know that saving your soldier when you can is you uh, to know that you 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 should save your soldier it, it these emotions have nothing to do with whether or not um you will save your fellow soldier because this isn't an emotion this is your logic this is is common sense and also uh, yeah so you they also, um so i would like to uh, now say why our best case scenario is um better than their worst case scenario so in opposition's worst case scenario soldiers will feel guilt and remorse towards their friends and stop the productivity on the battlefield but in our best case soldiers will leave their um would leave their sense of guilt remorse and empathy behind behind them and perform as they were supposed to do to do because we we, we can see that the soldier for a soldier in a course of duty what they are supposed to do and by the end of the day all they need to do is get the job done who in it's in war it's normal for people to lose lives it's normal for your fellow soldiers to lose lives and if you can save them sure you go ahead but it, we we mean like we mean that if in the course that you would have to if um you were to save your friend you would disrupt the others in the in the mission then you would not because your sense of empathy for them will um, not affect the mission and um i was once again our stance is that we do not want the feelings of soldiers to get the better of them and put the country at risk and so the and we are not and once again this motion this uh debate isn't about the benefits and disadvantages and how you're going to tell your uh, what you're going to tell your family for killing the, uh, a lot of people in the war but the motion is about what um but the motion is about what uh, whether or not we should um uh get um implement these trips in the soldiers uh without um uh, like without a choice they on uh with yeah without a choice and i would like uh, i would now like to summarize what we have said uh what side government has said today that uh, uh our point, side government's main points firstly was uh, is that the the soldiers have uh implement these ships to not uh, to increase the productivity to not disrupt the the rest of the mission just because they needed to save one person whom which they had um they had a, um relationship with or a connection with and secondly um at, at the end of the day is is the soldier's job to uh, is is the the soldier has to get the job done and not um and not uh worry about the rest of the, their squad and that is and that is why um the and that is why the chip should be implemented and that's why you should side with side government Thank you so much, Governor Wim. I now invite the opposition members to present the case of the debate.
they what do we hear from side opposition they constantly told us okay people won't know what's right or wrong if we take away these emotions they'll be scarred um actions afterwards will um cause them um their family or private lives to be affected by this and they've not understood the motion even though we've clarified it every single speaker in our bench has been clarifying it again and again and again we're here to tell you these effects will only happen to you in the course of duty it is stated in the motion i've been emphasized throughout the bench that these won't affect you after math in the aftermath after you came out from the soldiers because it's clearly stated in the motion that it, um the the empathy in soldiers who are in the course of duty alone and okay i'm gonna i'm, I'm up here today as a reply speaker to tear down the whole base and tell you why today side government clearly won this debate they've told us um the web speaker came up to brought up a new point that people should have the right to choose and we feel that that, that point isn't really valid to our debate because it was brought up in a whip which can't be credited in any way there's no PR. it has been run <laughs> and <laughs> and they've told us that people won't know what's right or wrong but the fact is that it doesn't mean that we take off these feelings that people won't know what's right or wrong my first because i've already rebutted that and they've told us that um soldiers would kill their fellow soldiers because of guilt making them know what is what um making them not know what is right or wrong but we need to tell you guilt is a feeling that you feel after you've done something not when you do it because when you haven't done it where's the guilt going to come from because you've not even done anything and they've not understand and they've never even replied or really tear down our points as they've just been clearly um dodging it in a way as they've just said they said that we all we all side government brought to today's debate was soldiers are going to get a job done but we've told you so much more we've told you why soldiers would be more productive without it we've told you why we want soldiers to be more prepared and be more um do not feel these feelings because it wouldn't help them in the line of the cost of the job we've told you the problems in status quo why we do not want this and they've told us that more people are scarred to death if we implement um, are going to be scarred if we implement this but we can tell you that's not the true point because in today's society, the, the, ever, the amount of people scarred from war is much more higher because of their feeling guilt, because of remorse, because they, they do not, they know they did the right thing, but it makes them feel that way. And they do not feel that they've done something right. But we really tell you that's not the point because you did something right. You helped the nation in a way, but this caused them scarred. This caused them to think that they're a bad person because they actually helped the nation, but caused people's lives. And we feel that like you do not, you should not feel that way. That's why we're using, we're implanting chips that will remove all sense of guilt, remorse, and empathy. And we inside government have clearly told you that what is the problems of emotions? It clearly disrupts your line of work. It disrupts everyone. Not you aren't, we in government have the right to do this because you aren't the only one who's going to be affected by these, but everybody in the nation. If you don't, if you had, if you have the feeling to save one person, but kill many, and if you take that risk, you're not only one suffering, but everybody else with you. And we are not willing to go through that. And we inside government believe that we should implant chips because we want soldiers to be fully prepared in the course of duty. And that has been explained again and again all throughout the bench of site government. And we've told you the stakeholders and what will happen, um, um, what um, the, the, the problems of having emotions in line of duty and given you an, an example that actually works in society. And they've um, side opposition have not clearly answered, uh, really tear down our bases while well, we have tear down theirs and answered to most of their, um, we've answered to why some of, all of their points were wrong. And we've told you why we do not want to implant and um, we want to implant chips that will remove feelings because it does not benefit anyone um to feel these feelings when you're actually doing something good for society and with that i would be i would love to propose thank you so much to both teams and i'm proud to call it please enter the room and call you all by any means <laughs> go away <laughs>